today on The Real. Ashanti is back for more of The Real. As our celebrity co-host takeover continues. I really feel like I'm at home with the girls. Really? And we've got a surprise for her. <laughs> and on Girl Chat, we're getting out the boat spat on him, they beat him, and he marched down Selma for us to have that opportunity oh my God. to vote. Then, the crazy price of collard greens. And y'all getting janked, rich people, really? okay? <laughs> Plus, from Almost Christmas, we've got Romany Malco. On the real. This is our Today is the amazing Ashanti. Yeah. Yeah. Looking gorgeous, by the way. This is really on sleeve. Oh, yeah. I feel like yeah. a lovely yeah. couple. Yeah. Yeah. She's Thank our guest you. host for the entire week. Yes. Ashanti, how have you been feeling here at the girl chat table? For real. I really feel like I'm at home with the girls. Oh, really? I love it. The energy is amazing. Yeah. You guys Thank are you. so amazing. Oh, Positive spirits. You. I feel really great. Oh, I really oh, think you. Thank you. We're so excited you're here. We are happy that you could be here. So thank are you ready you. to come on in to some girl chat with us? Honey, I'm ready. Oh, yes. Yes. Election Day, and we all hope you have already voted yes. or you're heading to the polls. Yes. Please, okay? Mm -hmm. But Adrian, yes. I know that you've been working to make sure that Hispanics get out the vote yes. and make sure that their voices are heard. I want to hear about yeah, it. This is really, really important to me, and I'm really passionate about this. I got the honor uh, to be a part of something called Habla y Vota, which is on HBO Latino, and it pretty much um, allows you to hear different people's stories of, um, you know, immigration, how they got here, why they're inspired to vote. People like Prince Royce. Okay. We all love uh, George Lopez and myself. And um, it's just so important, you guys. I don't think, as Latinos, we recognize our worth and our value in this country and that uh, we do have a big voice. And when I say big voice, I'm talking 27.3 million wow. eligible Latinos that can vote in this election. And I really, really just want to stress to you guys, we can be the difference. We can make a change with our voice. So please, Latinos, get out there. We're, you know, we get out there and we're heard and everything else. We want to be heard during this election. And um, also, you guys, according to Phone to Action, you guys, there's been a huge spike in Hispanic voter registration due to new texting methods. So get out there and find out about that. And also, Hispanics are expected to make up. You guys, just think about this. One in every 10 voters is Latinos nationally. Yeah. Wow. That's, a, that's a lot of people. Yeah, that's a lot of people already. We out here. We are. <laughs> you know, the early vote, a lot of the us. Hispanics have gone out. Yes. Uh, you yes. know, I'm with so the early proud of you guys. Thank, thank, thank you, guys. Doing it, so thank you, thank you, proud. thank you. Now, you guys, if you're sitting at home today uh, because you're just not sure if you're registered or not, we want you to know that it's not too late. Don't count yourself out just because you think you missed the deadline or because you think something got lost in the mail. It's happened, people. So to check your eligibility, visit canivote.org. That's canivote.org, and you guys can actually find out how and where you can locally vote to make your voice be heard. Yes. Make sure you get out there, guys, any way you can. Well, I voted early already. I know. I, yeah. I saw your Instagram. You were the one that was like, girl. Yeah, I got it, stuck in line. Yeah. You did? You, there's a certain time you don't want to go after lunch for sure. Right. And you don't want to go when kids get, I realize now, when kids get picked up from school because their yep. parents yeah. all take the kids to the voting booth. Yeah. And so my line took so long. And guys, How I long? did the biggest mistake. I wore heels to the voting booth. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't make it. I was shifting, shifting. I started leaning on the brother beside me. I was like, I gotta, I gotta come back. So, well, well see, I went on on a Sunday, mm -hmm. and the first place that I went.
went, it was a four hour wait. And I was Ooh. like, oh goodness. But you know oh, what? I went on Instagram. Up. I went on Instagram because I took a picture of it. Yeah. yeah. And I went on Instagram. And then one of my um, followers said, go to uh, this other station. It's, it's in Norwalk, the registrar's office. Okay. And so I went there. They had it all. God bless Norwalk registration yeah. office. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all had it together. Yeah. It was like an hour. That's it, all it took. Wow. It was See, an I hour. was trying to go to Culver City, and you gave nope. me the heads up on our right. group chat. Go yeah. like, the was that the picture on your Instagram? Was yes. that from Culver City? That was that was the Culver thing. City. That yeah. was um, West uh, Los Angeles, Cal and that was me to prove that I did vote. So yeah. I tried. <laughs> Good job, I'm gonna tell you guys. For those that you know. Voting is very important. We understand it is about, you know, the general election, but that local yes. genie, I was going through it because really? for just for Los Angeles, there are a, there were 17 measures and one of the measures was the, the plastic bag. That plastic bag. This is for LA. It was a plastic bag. Yes. They had um, marijuana legalizing it. You guys, it goes up to, I mean, you, it comes down yes. to the details like ticket pricing. Yes. Um, how, you, how we take care of our service people from the garbage uh, mm -hmm. uh, people for, that are in our community. It, there's they a lot of the details that you can take care of. Everything. That's yes. why I tell people, you guys, yes. it's not just about the, the general. It's yeah. your yes. local yeah, things yes. that are affecting yes. you. Yes. You yes. have to make sure you check that out. Yes. I did Dumb not have to see Valley when I was in New York, obviously, because I'm here now, yeah. so I had to do my early as well Smart. and you definitely have to read the whole yes. entire from top yes. to bottom because yes. it definitely makes a difference and I love Adrian that you brought in your community with this because at the end of the day like Although we're all the same family, when you reach out to culture, it makes it feel like that same family knit. Like, I'm going to go vote with my mama Mai because I want to take her with me. Yeah. And you guys, I learned that the Asian American community is the fastest growing community in the United States today. Yeah. Give it up for the, the Asian businesses out there. Yeah. But most importantly, most Asian people live in what's called battleground states like Nevada and Virginia. Right. Battleground state is basically a swing state, meaning those states are most important to make that deciding vote because the candidates have equal amount of supporters for wow. both sides yeah. in those states. So that one vote can be the one that kicks America in right. the direction that you are voting for. Wow. So, no, seriously, that's awesome. it, it's so important, you guys. Throwing it out there to my Vietnamese people. Because of America. You better go. You better go. That is what America is. What did you say? The Asian American community, for some reason, is a little bit more quiet, and they don't feel like they have as strong of a stance because mm -hmm. my people are just not super vocal. But your vote really does matter. And I was telling uncles, aunties, friends out there, we have a place in this country. Yeah. You worked hard to get here. Yeah. yeah. You worked hard to get here. So it's a given to us. Open that present, and that is your vote. And so I also want to say, you your... black people need to get out and vote. Yes. yes. You yes. see Obama telling y'all about his legacy. Y'all get out yeah. there and vote, and I don't have to do it in a language. Go vote. <laughs> well, so many of our ancestors have paved the way yeah. and have sacrificed so much for all of us to get out there. Absolutely. And regardless of who you like, if you don't like who's there, exactly. whatever, the, the object is to get out there and take advantage of your right yes. to vote. Because so many know. people have sacrificed yes. us to get out and there. We have, to, we have to get out of the mentality that we don't matter. We oh, exactly. do. Yes. And that we can make a difference yeah. as a whole. But Jeannie, I wanted to ask you something. Yes. You were getting emotional. Why were I you getting emotional? I got emotional watching her. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's from just our immigrant parents, yeah. but mm -hmm. do they, do you notice that a lot of family members yeah. actually say like, they don't listen to us. They don't want yeah. anything from us. Let me just matter. go to work and come home. And I'm not, I'm not a real American, even though mm. they've got their citizenship, so they don't think they count as much. I know a lot of people, I know I'm talking to you out there, you just don't think you are heard, but I'm telling you, your citizenship says you have been heard from the moment you got here. Okay. Amen. Well, if you are planning to go to the poll today, make sure you definitely know what to expect. 
Although voting may seem easy to some people, it can actually be complicated and it's important to not be intimidated by any new changes you may come across. Right. Definitely make sure you know what times the polls open right. and they're usually open for about 12 hours yep. after that. And yep. I know uh, for me, I wanted to go on lunch to vote, mm -hmm. but Lonnie, I've, I've learned from you, you have to make sure you maybe go mid-lunch around that time mm -hmm. and yeah. maybe mid-morning so you're not standing in line, especially if you have kids, because you know you gotta uh, just tow them in. Yeah, exactly. Kimmy just said, Wear comfortable shoes. Yes. Yes. You might be waiting a while. Gosh, yeah. Bring yes. a snack. Bring your yes. Bring a snack. Bring snacks for sure. And guys, I'm always, because my Asian side likes an incentive. Yo, Krispy Kreme donuts are giving away a free donut if you show them that you voted. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. And White Castle. White Castle burgers are giving away free IC. And Gold's Gym, you get a free membership for the day so that you can work out because you voted. Oh, Lord. Lord. Also, Lord. when you're at the polls, also know that some states where you live in, they require a photo ID um, to oh. vote. Um, those states are Georgia, Indiana, Kansas, Mississippi, Tennessee, and Wisconsin. They have really strict uh, photo ID laws, so make sure that you bring your ID. I bring my ID anyway. Yeah, I just think hey, everywhere yeah, would know. make you show ID. Yeah. You know well, you no, know so I, when I early voted, they they asked for either you bring your pamphlet, yeah, or either you fill out a form and yeah. then they print it and then you know yeah. they go by that. In certain states you don't have to have ID. Yes. Certain states are very very strict. You, you know what? Just I, bring it regardless. Bring it. Yeah, yeah they bring it anyway. Just Where so nothing is. catches you. I'm not a great, I, I'm not as great as retaining information as you are, Lonnie. So if anybody's like me where you forget things, I brought my ballot, I bring my ballot book every year and I write my answers down. So it's literally just a copy paste right. on yeah. what you already know you're going to vote. Mm. So you get out faster, you guys. That yeah. is true. And yeah. don't be scared to ask because I'm not going to lie. When I went up there, there was a very nice lady behind the desk and I was like, well, what about, what, what do we need to do down in this section? You know, so if you don't know something, I think exactly. it's important that you go and yes. you ask. So They'll be a senior citizen. Yes. Yes. The, 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 the poll workers, where I go, like in Compton, I, even though I early voted, I'm going to go see them anyway because them senior citizens crack me up. They, <laughs> they will check you. They will let you know everything. Everything you need to know, they're so helpful, yeah. you know, and, you know, let's give it up because a lot of people that are working at those polling Volunteer. places, they're yes, volunteering. Volunteers. So thank you guys so much for doing amazing. that. Awesome, yeah. you guys. When you vote, make sure you do your homework, read about the issues that matter to you at the state and local level. Yes, I know yes, for me, definitely. you guys, when I vote, I'm like on a mission. Okay. I literally look at all of the issues and they usually under each thing, they have what a proposition is, you know, yes, so right. you know exactly what you're voting Lame for. Make sure you take your time and read it, please. Yes. Be because each, each, you know, each state, each county has something different. What I found what was interesting in San Diego, there's this Measure C that um, they're asking the, the public to approve a hotel tax. And that hotel tax is going to provide $1.5 billion to build a football stadium. This is how important voting is, is that I want to just show the example that how locally it can affect you when you wonder, how did that get built? It got yeah. built because your tax dollars, whether you voted for it yeah. or not. Yeah. That's why it's important to go Let and vote. Know. A lot of measures out there. Gotta know. Different counties, different cities. Different that's like, you know, even in um, um, San Francisco, where yeah. you're from, yeah. they have a measure on there to see if 16 year olds can be allowed to vote for local. Yes. Elections. That's wow. cool. Yes. yes. I mean, I it's so interesting. I love it. Yes. I think it's a great wow. time. This is what America is about. Yes. It's about what us making our decisions. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And not somebody telling you, you got to do something. Exactly. No, you can have a voice. So, you know, I feel when you say your people feel yeah. a certain type of way, because we felt this way back, yeah. you know, in the sure. 60s and the 70s. So when our president says, vote, you know, don't take it for granted. I think y'all, a lot of y'all out there taking it for granted. Especially the young people, yeah. because a lot of young people, you know, this may be their first election. Yeah, right. This may be, you know, their second election. But they have to understand, this is why we have to study history. So many people fought so that Died. we can have a country yeah, like exactly. this. And Don't it, take it for granted. My, my grandfather, goodness. my grandfather oh. actually marched with Martin Luther King. And there's a picture of him that we have hey. in our house. He's holding his shoes up with holes in them, and there's a whole article. They spat on him, they beat him, and he marched down Selma 
for us to have that opportunity oh my God, to vote. You know what I mean? So that has always been instilled in my entire family. As soon as everyone turned 18, that's grandpa. Go out there and do what you need to do. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So don't take that for granted. I don't know about y'all, but I am feeling extra rested this week because of that extra hour of sleep I got this weekend due to the oh. switch back from daylight savings time to standard time. I am feeling refreshed. That's why, why? I'm up here emotional really? and crying Jeez, perky, and stuff. Honey. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but did you know that daylight savings time not only saves you sleep, but it can also save you money. <laughs> A study from J.P. Morgan Chase Institute found that the switch back to standard time is associated with a drop in spending. So basically, it's saying that the darker it gets, <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Get it darker. <laughs> get okay. It just didn't work. <laughs> you know. Anyway. <laughs> It You're makes cute. people want to go home earlier yeah. and not out to shop. So you save money. So mm. as it gets darker, you, you like, I'm tired. Inside. I'm going to stay inside. Yeah, I'm not going to go outside. That is so true. I kid you not, yesterday, me and my sister went to Staples like around 6.30 or whatever, mm -hmm. and it got dark. When, and when, by the time we got out, we were supposed to go to the supermarket. Yeah. And I was like, I don't feel like going. Let's just go home. It's it was kinda. dark. Yeah. And when it's dark, it just makes you feel like, eh, let's yeah. just go home. Are you like me where if you're at the mall and you don't see sun, then you just keep shopping, shopping. But as soon as you pass by the Macy's front door and you see that it's pitch black out there, <laughs> it's like, I got my credit card out. Let's wrap this up. Right? Time to go. It's crazy. Yeah. But I always ask here at work, because we work such long hours, I always ask, please, can we wrap earlier? Because getting out of those double doors, and just seeing a little bit of Getting sun. Getting some sun. She gets so excited, oh. guys. Because I don't think you guys know, we, we film long hours. Yeah. So sometimes, well, officially starting today, we get in when it's still dark outside, and we'll be getting out when it's, it's still dark, dark outside. Right. I did but like your idea. What oh, was your idea? Sometimes for lunch. Yes. We go outside in our robes. Everyone's yes. looking at us like we're crazy, yeah, but we, we don't care because we're getting some sun. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do that today. Let's go. go. I want to come. You want to come? We can do what we said we're going to do at lunch outside. Go. Oh, class all the way, yes. Well, here are some tips for us to cope with this whole change because, you know, I, I don't know about you ladies, but I have to, you know, get myself back on schedule. Everything changes. Even It's funny how this, is t this tells you how important time is. Yes. That you can change one little thing and it'll mess your whole cycle yeah. up, so you have to get back on track. One of the tips is to eat dinner earlier, you know, because we have a rhythm that's connected with the time that we eat. So Help we you lose weight, too. Exactly. Yes. It does. Yeah. So Guys, that'll get you whammy. back on pattern if yes. you eat dinner earlier, you True. know? Um, yes. Also, you guys, this is a big one I learned. Have you ever noticed when you go to sleep and you're playing on your phone like I do, Instagram, yes. last minute emails, do you notice you stay awake longer? Yes. Oh, Guys, yeah. avoid screens before bedtime. Oh. Reducing time in front of the TV, computer, or smartphone will help restless sleepers get extra shut eye before losing an hour. And it's clinically proven that the lighting behind those LED lights or any of those lights behind like screens actually tweak your brain a little bit to stay up yeah. and you're a little bit in a not resting state. Wow. Your mind so it keeps going. your mind yeah. awake. So you got to shut down. That's why when you read a book, you start to fall asleep because you're working your eye muscles and you're, you're, you're the reflection of the light's not keeping your eye awake like this. Oh, I just I thought it was because I was just getting bored with it. That's why. <laughs> Are there some foods that you just love so much that you're always willing to pay top dollar for? Well... What about collard greens? What? what? Mm hmm. They're so That's inexpensive. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Wait for it. Okay. Like, Recently, luxury department store Neiman Marcus. Random. Random. Yes. <laughs> offered collard greens for sale on their website for a whopping, this is for sale, y'all, $66. What? And that doesn't even include the shipping cost. The greens were listed as seasoned with just the right amount of spices and bacon. And get this, you guys, <laughs> they sold out. No, no Isn't that way. crazy? I would See, never put Neiman Marcus and collard greens, greens together. together. Rich no people, way. are we getting bored of spending money? <laughs> you oh. can get a whole truckload of collard greens for $66. That right. don't make no sense. <laughs> That's they crazy. Don't people. Okay, so. You know, 
That's where I look at, it's kind of like fashion, you guys. Yes, there are many luxury brands that are worth the price tag, but a lot of times the shoes you buy, even Louboutins, are made at the same factory and manufacturing true. process as some of the shoes that are like $44.99. So, so I'm just saying, true. I yep. think it's that Neiman Marcus stamp. It's just Boom. a different label. I don't know. Yeah. Y'all, am I crazy bacon though? And I don't seasoning, I don't think it's gonna go you. good. It gets way crazy, crazy, huh? <laughs> yes. Would you, because uh, I can make collard greens, my husband can actually make collard greens really? better than I can, Ew. yes. Would y'all buy collard greens from Neiman Marcus? No, no. I can make it myself. I, First of all, I feel like it wouldn't be right. You know, you peeling it, you know? Yes, you gotta, you gotta wash gotta it. it. Ooh, you, gotta you gotta cut it. it. What's your secret ingredient, and, Lonnie? And I ain't telling you, <laughs> that's why I'm secret ingredient. Shady, so shady. <laughs> But how many people would taste it? Would any of you guys taste it? If I have an option. Oh, wait, I would have to taste it. Yeah, yeah, just to see if it's worth yeah. the 66 Not bucks. Not that Neiman Marcus Ooh. would you know ever set up a tasting do? table like Costco, but I would taste it. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is what we ought to do. We ought to order the, the greens, okay? Okay. And then Who's let it name? sold out. You cook. We can get oh, it. Oh, this is okay. a good idea. Okay. Do it. Say it. Say it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know where you're going. We're going to order the greens. We're going to blind, do a blind taste uh -huh. test. Uh-huh. Do the $66 one. homemade and one Neiman Market. Yeah. Okay, okay, but is there anything that you would pay top dollar for? Like, is there something that's low-key nuts and you're like, but I gotta pay for it because I really like this certain thing? Okay, go wow. ahead. Anything truffle. That is Has true. anybody had truffle french truffle. fries? Anything Only with you. Hallelujah. <laughs> it was just so good. I had it at this place in Harlem. I'm from Harlem. It's called yes, Corner Social. How much were they? Like seven, eight bucks. So it regular that fries. Much. That's not it's bad, not but regular bad. fries would be three or four dollars. Right. It was a little basket. It was pretty small, but it was yeah. so worth it. For fries? Seven bucks for fries. Trust me, Trust me on this one. Okay. It gets expensive, and I just didn't understand what was the big deal. Okay. Okay. Now you know. 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 Now you we talk a lot on this show about our fans and how much they mean to us, from the tiniest social media shout-outs to the massively heartfelt moments. So, we want to share the moments that have impacted us in our lives. Ashanti, we hear that there was a special Make-A-Wish moment for you years ago. Yeah, it was such an amazing, humbling experience. I had a girl named Christina reach out, and they told me she was terminally ill. She was suffering from cancer, and she lost all her hair, and she just wanted to meet me. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing to yeah. be someone's last wish. Oh. So my mom and I flew out. She lived in Seattle. We flew mm -hmm. out. We rented this huge hotel suite for her and her mom and her best friend. We got a limo. Um, we went to her house, surprised her. We ate oh dinner. Um, I bought her this awesome, cute Tiffany's bracelet. I had her oh. name engraved. And oh. I sat and I hung out with her like for the whole day. And she was like asking me questions. I was asking her like how school. And wow. um, it was just such a surreal feeling to just feel like I touched someone that I didn't even know. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And what's so, but listen, it's not the killer. So that happened. We made a whole book. They put it on the news and all that stuff. That was all great. Literally, maybe two years ago, which makes it 10 years from that time. What? She reached out to me on Twitter, and she's like, oh my gosh, Ashanti, I, I just want to say I've been in remission. My hair grew oh, back. No. She's like, I still remember that moment. I know I'm getting all like teary eyed, but I remember that moment, and I was like, oh my gosh. Well, who could that be? you make Ashanti your Make-A-Wish oh wish. <laughs> okay, this is hard. Um, I picked her because during the time, 
I not only was going through the cancer and the surgery, but it was very hard to be, you know, alone and just going through that alone. Sometimes in the hospital, you just don't get, you know, visitors every day. So I would just turn on my tunes, and she's always the one I looked up to. Oh, oh. my God. I'm like, so shocked. How have you been, like, how are you feeling? How's life? Like, what's going on with you? It's a 180, really. I mean, just a few years ago, just recently, my life's changed around even more. I mean, I'm done with school, all oh, that. Congratulations. So. Oh my gosh, I'm like in shock. I'm shaking. Oh, oh my yeah, God. I've been shaking. It's <laughs> okay. Yeah, we heard about this gorgeous bracelet that Ashanti gave you. Can we see? <laughs> Tell me why is oh that bracelet God. special to you? This bracelet is special to me because it's something I can hold on to that's symbolic that reminds me of how special and memorable our day was. Not only did she give me this present, but she gave me oh. her time. Oh my oh, God. Wow. That, that is, that's more important. Oh my God. I'm not a crier and I can't believe it. I see you're holding something. What, what you got there? I got you something this time. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm shaking like a little kid. This is like Christmas. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that's so This sweet. is so beautiful. Oh. Love it, Pete. That's my favorite. Oh, that's what that is, Christina. <laughs> okay, I think it's safe to say we all have had some shade hurled our way as some point in our lives, okay? Uh -huh. Don't I know about it? But there are levels in the Shadyville complex. Sure <laughs> Whether it's a little shade or a whole lot, that's for us to decide. Ladies, it's time to rate shade. Yes. I am prepared. Uh, we got a question <laughs> right here in our audience. Sherry Williams, where are you? Hey, hey, hey Sherry. Sherry. What is your question, sweetie? Okay, ladies, so I need help. My best friend is getting married, and I'm the maid of honor. I'm super excited about it. But a lot of the girls, they live in South Carolina, and I live in Atlanta. They expect for me to drive from Atlanta to Johnson, South Carolina, back from Johnston to Augusta, Georgia, to take them to go try on their dresses, to go back to South Carolina to drop them off, and then I drive back to Atlanta. I told them, no, that's not my job. I'm here to take care of the bride, but not y'all. Like, that's just not what happened. Because I told them no, or are they shady because they really think that I'm gonna do that? Like, no. Okay, host, mm. um, you heard Sherry's uh, question. How would you rate the shade? How many girls are expecting you to return these dresses? Two. Two? Two each for them. <laughs> Two palm trees for them because I think that's shady as heck. Like, you're. Yeah, that is. Like yeah, like you always, I think even, you know, we were talking about voting earlier, you're always considerate about the time it takes for somebody to drive, travel, the time off their hands. They're not being considerate of you, babe. No. I think we should and drive from another state a, to go a whole and pick them up state. to take Why? their I don't have cars? Cars? For dressing. Tamara. I have a question. What? That's crazy. Tamara? Yes. She does. What's your question? She does have a car. My question is, well, what about UPS or FedEx? Can't they just FedEx the dresses to... Her. She have said to try one them of the on. girls has a car. Yeah. And, so and how would you rate it, Tamara? I would say shady because they're being inconsiderate. Right. Four shades? Yes. Two for each of us. Okay. I think it's shady. To be how would you rate the shade? Four. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's crazy to ask someone to drive from another state yes, to yes. go and try on dress. dress. That's crazy to me. Liz, so, so I'm gonna guess you wouldn't do it. Absolutely not. <laughs> Blocked. Yeah. Wow. Not now, now, from the bride to be. Okay, you had a question. You not only asked if they were shady, but if you were shady for not doing it. I say you were <laughs> baby shady, a little, a little shady, only because, you know, you're obviously like absolutely not. I'm not doing it. But I'm just confused why they think you should do it. I do. Is it because they're jealous that you are the maid of honor? No, I think that I'm like the one that they always rely on, but they're not even expecting the, the bride is not even expecting me to do it. So that's, yeah. first of all, no. If the bride would have asked me, yeah, okay, let's figure this out. Yeah. But y'all ain't getting married. She is. So, no. <laughs> yeah, so pick y'all out your dress and show up ready. Yeah. So, so, hey, they are very, 
Shady. All right. <laughs> you know our next guest from hilarious movies like The 40-Year-Old Virgin, one of my faves, Think Like a Man, and now the highly anticipated new comedy, Almost Christmas. Please give it up for Romney Malco. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. I'm with the such ladies. a big fan. Thank you. Thank you. you. Are hilarious. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Okay, today is yep. election day. Absolutely. Yes. And for the people who haven't voted yet, yeah. please tell them why it's important for them to vote. Okay, how, how much time we got here? Because I'm, I'm gonna Shoot. be here for a minute. Four the minutes most... and twenty seconds. Listen, I stayed up all weekend, all night till four o'clock this morning, breaking down every single proposition, at least in California. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay, that's the most important reason for you to vote, people. We reduced the vote to, you know, the presidential, you know, Candidate. candidates, right. right? Just make it about that. But believe it or not, you really empower yourself on the local vote. Yep. Yes. Okay, it's the local. I Listen. Saying it. I, saying it. I spent this last week, like, reading over every single yep. uh, measure. Oh my gosh, there's so much trickery, there's so many loopholes. It'll, it'll seem like it's something that's really beautiful for the community, but the truth is it's just more money for developers and, 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 and construction companies. Uh -huh. So that's where we can empower ourselves and, and say, no, you're not spending that money. No, you're not going to, you know. And so, yo, but peep it. If we do that on a state, if we do that on a state to state level, yes. yes. Oh, the game changes. I love it. And yeah. you know, your mother is um, a former Miss Trinidad. Yes. Definitely, yeah. What was it like being uh -huh. raised by beautiful? Oh, Gorgeous. she's beautiful. What was oh, that like? I'm like, yo, mom. I'm like, mom, like, seriously, uh, <laughs> you know, it's freezing. Let me, let me just get you a little. And she's like, no, that does not look good, Junior. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> How yeah. cute. It's, it's all about looks for moms. That's She's all. She's always got it. When you're a beauty queen, honestly, you yeah. always carry that facade and that that posture. It so is. She's got it built in. I remember when I was first trying to get my mom to eat a bit more healthy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know, I was like, you know, this is so that you don't have to get like you know plastic surgery down the line. So you think you gonna get me plastic surgery? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, so we hear that you're a big dog lover. Yeah. I have two puppies that I love, so I'm, I'm with you on that. Okay. But I heard that you like to actually cook meals for your dog. Okay. Wait, what? Prepare and yeah, cook meals. Let me explain, because, you know, I, I try to keep my dog off of that, like, I don't want my dog eating, you know, impurities and, yes. you know, the oh wrong... Oh, my God. Yes. Oh. Is that oh, yeah. Dane? That's that... Doodle. That's Doodle. That's doodle. the... Uh, doodle. <laughs> she's, um... Oh. Thank you. All right. It's yeah. a girl? It's a girl. She's, like, 11 years old. She's an, uh... uh she's an American Bulldog, and... Oh. The long and short of it is, is that I just want to make sure that my dog eats right. And so I remember going to the vet and explaining what I was cooking for my dog. And the, the vet was like, are you single? <laughs> <laughs> like, we have yeah. to have a doggy play date. I have two puppies. We have to hook that up. Oh, she's oh, so gosh. gentle. You'd love it. She Aww. loves little dogs. If you're Aww. cooking for the dogs, then we are coming over for <laughs> dinner. You're not just <laughs> yeah. for the dogs. 